Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the file input accept attribute. Okay, so uh, this attribute right here is very easy to use and it allows you to specify various different file formats um, for your file upload input fields. Okay, so uh, this comes in handy more so on mobile devices, but it also works quite nicely on desktop devices also. And to summarize the attribute, uh, pretty much you're able to say something like, for example, uh, this file input right here expects to receive images or we could say video files or audio files or um, pretty much whichever file format we like okay so um, I do want to put emphasis here on the expects so um, this is not meant to be used for validation so definitely perform your validation of your file formats on the server side but this is just meant to be to guide your user. They can still cancel this and upload whichever file format they like. So like I said, um, don't use it for validation purposes. But anyway, let's go inside the text editor right here and take a look at the accept attributes. So as we can see right here, I've got this input type of file. So let's go ahead now and add the accept attribute to that element. Okay, so inside here, you're going to be placing a comma separated list of uh, what's called unique file type specifiers. Okay, so uh, what I mean by unique file type specifier is um, they can take one of three forms. Okay, so um, you could say, for example, uh, you can place extensions inside here. That is one type or you could place uh, MIME types. Um, or you could place uh, one of the three um, special types, which I'm going to be getting to a bit later on. But for now, let's just say, for example, um, .jpg. Okay. So now saving this and then refreshing, uh, we can see if I was to press on this input, we can see in the bottom right here, I have suggestions for a JPEG image for the .jpg file extension. Okay. So now, of course, we're only going to be seeing JPEG files inside the Explorer. However, I do want to show you here that I can actually go down here and I can choose all files and I can just choose a text file. So like I said earlier, um, this is just meant to guide your user and you shouldn't use it for validation. Okay, but that's basically how it works. So we can specify multiple here. So for example, I can put a comma and I can say then .png. So now saving this and refreshing, we're going to be seeing both JPEG and PNG in the bottom right here. Okay, so um, let's look at uh, putting a MIME type now. So for example, uh, let's place one more with a comma and say for example, application slash JSON. So now saving this and refreshing, we're only going to be seeing, uh, sorry, we're going to be seeing of course PNG, JPEG and also JSON in the file list down here. Okay, so um, this is going to be more useful uh, in cases where your MIME type covers multiple different file extensions. For example, um, Let's just remove uh, the JPEG and PNG here and we can place uh, image slash JPEG for example. So now saving this and refreshing, we're going to be seeing uh, multiple different file extensions that fall under uh, image slash JPEG as we can see right here and we have all of those uh, file extensions right there. Okay, so the last type of uh, value you can put inside here is uh, pretty much something like this. So we can say image, then forward slash, and then asterisk, and that is one of the three. So this one right here is going to be, uh, of course, displaying or suggesting, uh, sorry, uh, suggesting um, any type of uh, image. Okay, so now saving this and refreshing, uh, we can see now we get right here a huge list of all of the extensions, which of course fall under an image. Okay, so this right here is especially useful on mobile devices because on many phones, from what I've seen on my own Android phone, um, you know, when I click on this file input, I actually get a suggestion to say, you know, open with camera or it'll filter the files to only be images. So that's where it comes in handy most on mobile devices um, and it definitely helps your user choose the correct file format. Um, so this works in a similar way, of course, with videos, for example, just like that. And the last one here is going to be audio. So we can say audio, then, uh, of course, asterisk. So now we're going to be seeing video and audio uh, file extensions inside the, uh, um, the input. So now 
refreshing the browser, we should see um, in the file input, we should see here all of the uh, all of the video file formats and also of course all of the audio file formats right there. So that is how to use the uh, the accept attribute on your file inputs um, in HTML. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.